Hi all, welcome to the Code Nest. This is the part three of Retrofit, and in this part, we are going to learn about dynamic URL. How can we handle dynamic URL with Retrofit? So let's get started. Let me open the existing Retrofit tutorial. So we have learned so far. like get and post gradle is configuring so here you can see that uh, we have learned so far uh, two methods like get and second in post uh, let uh, test post method because last time json placeholder server is not responding on the request so let test it one more time i am running the project We have to test post. Uh, here you can see that uh, the response code is 201, uh, which means it is created on the server. So you can see that here user ID, title, and body. So it is working fine. So let's move on the next part, uh, which is dynamic URL. So Here I am adding a plain text and a button. Let's set the edit text ID uh, like get ID. And button ID is So uh, let's go to the API interface here we will define the our uh, post methods Here we will define a query parameter. In this query, uh, we will send the user ID. Based on this user ID, 
it will return server will return uh, the data uh, which is belong to the specific user id this will type of integer let's go to the main activity and Now we will make a retrofit call. content here I am going to set a single line row and number so user can only put it in integer this parameter id here we will convert it to the integer let's run it So 
here I am putting the ID 1 and get there you can see that all the ports belonging to the user ID 1 is here like if we want to the uh, fetch all the post of id 3 we will put 3 and get here you can see that uh, user id 3 data also come so in this way we will uh, we will handle the uh, dynamic or uh, dynamic URL manipulation in uh, retrofit. So this tutorial has been completed. So see you in the next part.